Hello and welcome back to another episode of Tash Teaches. I'm Tash and in today's video I want to show you a quick technique in using envelopes, that is amplitude envelopes, filter envelopes and pitch envelopes as a means to take horrible sounds and make them useful and potentially even nice. Uh, one exercise I like to regularly do to hone my production skills is to work almost exclusively with sounds that make me go bleh when I go through my sample library. Because if I can make them sound good, then I can make a good thing sound great very easily. So without further ado, let's jump right in and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Now straight off the bat here, I've uh, got a few really rather awful sounds. I've picked a kick here. Ugh. We've got this uh, tom. We've got this clap. We've got this snare. Obviously it's a... Uh, it's it's a personal taste. I just think these sounds are pretty horrible, but maybe you like them and that's okay. But the point is, if I play all of these together in a pattern that I've created, this, to me, probably would sound a little extreme on the dance floor. I couldn't listen to that for too long, so I'm just going to go ahead and mute all of these sounds at first, and we're going to start with just this kick. Now, an envelope I'm sure you're all familiar with is an ADSR, an attack, decay, sustain, and release. And these Different letters stand for different parts of shaping that we can apply. And I'm not going to say just a volume because envelopes can be used for many different things. Uh, for the sake of today though, we're going to be just looking at in terms of amplitude, filter and pitch. So if we were to bring the sustain down on this kick, we're going to be able to straight away tighten it up and make it smaller. And I don't care how big of a kick you like, the kick better be big but quite small. Uh, big overlapping long kicks sound terrible in a club and uh, they're just a nightmare for trying to mix with bass. So the first thing I always do with a kick is I'll just bring that sustain down to zero. And let's do that while we're listening to it. Okay, nice. Now we've got a tighter, punchier little kick. And I might even bring this decay down a little bit more. That seems about all right there. But you'll notice that we don't really have much of a vibe with this kick. It's a, it's a bit rubbery, and not even rubbery, it's a bit wet and bleh. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the filter and I'm going to, with a low pass, just bring this down to a level where, and here's the key thing, it feels good, but it doesn't sound good. So we're going to bring this down. I mean, that to me feels good. It's, it's not a kick, it's a sort of a sub, but we've got, uh, the, the lowness is what I'm looking for there. Now, here's where we're going to use our second envelope. I'm going to open up the modulators here and I'm going to find an ADSR. I'm going to open that up and straight away bring the attack down, the sustain down. And I'm going to bring this decay down to nothing as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this modulator and I'm going to use this to open up the kick all the way to the top. And of course, because we've got no decay, we're not getting anything happening here. Um, let's close this. Uh, okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is slowly open up this decay and you'll see that as soon as I do that what we're going to be doing is we're going to have a short sharp snappy envelope opening this filter it's like the equivalent of me doing that um, but faster and better and more in time so I'm just going to slowly bring up this decay oh and there we go you can start to hear that we're getting a little bit of the high end coming through now it's a bit excessive the amount that I've decided to open it up so we can bring down the amount here and it's starting to sound a bit better. I might bring the decay down a little bit more and open this up a bit. Sounds good, I like that. Now, the only other part of this that's missing is the actual snap. And the snap comes from a pitch envelope. So let's take another ADSR. I'm gonna bring this, close it down, make this nice and short. And I'm just gonna bring this pitch up and see what it sounds like. Let's bring this all the way up to say 32 because again, we can always change it with this. Wow, so you see, depending on how I put that pitch up, I can make the kick sound really quite cool. I can bring the amount down. I'm quite happy with that though. So again, let's compare the difference of what we got. That to me is a tremendously good kick drum. So let's move on to the tom now. So I've got this rather horrible thing. And this, I don't think we're gonna to need too much to do to, but the, obviously the, straight, the first thing I'm gonna do is just bring the sustain down, bring that decay, try and tighten up the sound. 
Now we could do the same thing here. I'm going to bring the filter down, which already sounds good. I mean, it already sounds a lot better doing that, but I want a little bit of snap, a little bit of that high end to be coming through. So let's try that. You can see just that small amount of ADSR pushing that filter up just adds all the difference. Okay, let's try with just a small amount of pitch modulation. We could even go down. Let's see what that sounds like. Quite nice. It removes a little bit of that snappiness and makes it a little, gives it a bit more space around the kick. Let's bring the amount of that down. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's go to the clap now. Now this clap truly is uh, excessive to say the least. Let's see what it sounds like in context. Let's see what happens. Bring that sustain down. Much, much nicer already. But again, we can always filter it a bit. And this to me sounds like it, it feels good there. So let's just do a small amount of envelope pushing us up here. Because I want some of that high end, but I just don't want it to be as in my face. Much nicer. I can even bring the volume back up of that a bit now. Now we've got this uh, horrible offbeat hat. Now the first thing I'm gonna do with this is instead of doing a low pass, I'm gonna do a high pass, and we're gonna find a point where in which we don't need anything from below it. That sounds pretty good to me, maybe a bit of resonance. And let's just bring the sustain down. Now a nice thing with these is to bring the attack up, because that will give it a little, little sizzle, kind of more shakery vibe. change the shape of that. I'm happy with that. Now let's go to this other horrible hat we've got. Straight away, I'm just going to make it really short. Use this filter to just really dial that in. I might even do a band pass because that will allow me to really create my space. And picking a frequency there and increasing the resonance means that we're only really going to be having that vibe. I've uh, put a little bit of uh, velocity automation in here. So we could do some stuff maybe with, uh, with the expressions tool. And we're going to take that expressions and we'll use velocity to control the resonance. Nice. Now we've got this snare sound. Let's see what this sounds like. Now I'm going to do a low pass on this one again. Because I do like just that little snap, just that snap to come through. Let's do uh, another one on the pitch here as well. And you can see how much change you can make very quickly just using envelopes. I haven't used any other tools, just envelopes and filters. Very cool. So uh, it would be useful maybe to see what this would sound like again. Um, so let's compare the difference. We'll put that in there. In fact, I'll just do this in post and we'll be able to compare it. So of course, this is what it sounded like before. And uh, this is what it sounds like now. And I think you'll agree that the the sonic characteristics of these drums is fabulous. As I go through my sample libraries, I look for samples that sound like this, but the beauty of it is that because I know so easily how to get a bad sample into the realm of sounding like a good sample, 
Sometimes I don't even use the good samples anymore because some of the fun is seeing, well, what would happen if we use these envelope and these filtering techniques with this sound? All of a sudden you get a, a kick and a knock that sound like that. I mean, that to me is just... I'm just very happy with that. But anyways, I think that about does it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, if you engaged with this content, please remember to like, comment and subscribe and click on that notifications bell too if you'd like to keep up to date with my future videos. In the meantime, happy Thursday and happy creating.